So when you take the dot product of two vectors, you do not get another vector. What you get is you get a scalar value. So let's say we have vector v dot vector u. This is going to equal just some number, some number c. It's not a vector. And then the rule with this is that the two vectors that we're taking the dot product of have to have the same number of components. So what that would look like, we'd say, well, some vector v, we can write it in column form. We could say is equal to has the components v1, v2, all the way down to vn. And vector u would follow the same form. So it would say component is u1, u2, all the way down to un, like so. And now because these both have n components, where n is the same, we can take their dot product. And if we did that, it would look like this. We'd say v dot u is equal to, and how you do this is you say you take the first components and multiply them together. So say v1 times u1, v1, u1, and you add that to the second components multiplied together, so plus, oops, plus v2, u2, and you just continue going on until you get to the last component. So you just do all the ones in between, plus the last two components added together, which would be vn, un. And when you, when you work this out, you just get one number. This, this is going to be some number. It's not a vector. So let's do an example. Let's say we have two three-dimensional vectors. So let's say we're in R3. Now, if we, let's pick two vectors. Let's say we have vector A, and let's say that's 1, 2, 3. And let's say vector B, vector B is equal to, let's say, 4, 5, 6. Now, if we want to take the vector, the dot product of these two vectors, we could say a dot b is equal to, and we add the first components, or multiply the first components together. So we'd say 1 times 4, and then we add that to the second components multiplied together. So we'd say 2 times 5, 2 times 5, and then we add the third components multiplied together, which is times 3 times 6. And now if we work this out, we get, let's see, 4 plus 10 plus 18. And we find that to be 22. So there you have it. A dot B is equal to 22. This is just some number. This is not a vector. And that, that's how you do it. So let's say, let's try, let's try one more example. Let's say, uh, let's pick vectors in R5, for example. These vectors both have five components. And so let's say, let's pick two vectors, let's say a vector E, we'll just call it that. And E could maybe be equal to 1, 0, negative 1, 1, 1. And let's pick another vector, let's say a vector F. And we'll say a vector F is equal to 2, 2, 1, 2, 1. Yeah. See, so it could be anything. These are just two vectors that have five components. And when we take this dot product of e dot f, we want e dot f, and this as well, we do the same thing. We say 1 times 2, 1 times 2, plus, now we go to the second component, so 0 times 2, 0 times 2, plus negative 1 times 1, plus negative 1 times 1, plus 1 times 2, plus 1 times 1. And when we work this out, we say, well, this is 2 plus 0. This would be minus 1 plus 2 plus 1. And that equals 2. That's 2 plus 2 is 4. There you go. So that equals 4. And there you have it. The dot product of these two five, uh, I guess, five-dimensional vectors is just 4. And there you go. And we can use this, I'll show you in the next video, we can use the dot product to calculate things like length and distance.